Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to the magic only playthrough of Demon's Souls Remake. In this episode, I of course return to the Nexus and I think what we're going to do first things first is level up. Uh, see, the only problem here is, yeah, fuck it, let's get three attunement and let's pump up our magic. I think that's what we're going to go for. So let's just see like what we can make from like the souls we picked up and Sage Frake. I fucking forgot Sage Frake. All right, all right, all right, all right. Give me a second. Give me a second and we'll just do a quick rescue operation here. Okay, here we go. And if I remember correctly, I should have the key. I do. Cool. What up, Frake? Cool. So it does give you Gary's stiletto, and I think it might be worth... Uh, drains a small amount of MP from targets. Shit. This is not the one. Because there is another weapon that I think recovers MP over time, which might be worth having uh, equipped rather than having a shield. Because honestly, I'm not using the shield for jack shit. Anyways, I think I'm just gonna head back to the Nexus, so... Oh yeah, of course. See, more magic power. Got them stronger spells. Cool, let's get back. See, the thing is, you gotta get back manually to the Nexus in this game, in most situations, because for some reason, the Homeward Bone equivalent item is extremely rare in this game. Even though you can get it as a miracle where it's basically free. Uh, it's just a weird thing. So this guy has some shitty dialogue. He's still an asshole, of course. Anybody with that haircut. And that facial hair combination is bad news, I think. Anyways, so Frey... Frey I just said Frage. Mage Frake or Sage Frake is... Frage. Uh, so anyways, he's pretty cool. Uh, let's see what we can get. That's the one. That's the business. Soul Ray. Soul Ray is so goddamn good. Like, it's unbelievable. He also sells protection, which is decent, if I remember correctly. But it doesn't hold a candle to Soul Ray, which is... What was that? There it is. So that's basically like the Soul Spear equivalent. Uh, in that it pierces enemies. I don't think it's as powerful as a Soul Spear because... The stat requirements on it are not that high. Uh, but it's cool. Now uh, We're pretty well equipped in terms of spells. Anyways, I deposited all my shit and also repaired my stuff. Let's go to, yeah, 1-2 should be the place. I think, see, I'm like criminally low on healing items, so I think this place should at least allow me to pick a few things up. Plus, this should be a pretty quick area, honestly, considering. I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you, at this point, we're getting to the part of this playthrough where the challenge will diminish. For sure. That's just the how like magic works in this game. It just, just very quickly gets out of hand. Um, and that's pretty much always been a thing. Okay, just barely can't kill him. It's always been a thing with this game, like, magic is insane, and you haven't even seen, like, the worst of it. There are some spells in this game that are, like, truly, truly fucked. Um, you get most of those from Yuria, though, who will rescue later. I wonder if this, I wonder if it goes through. I'm not sure, actually. Flame Toss is definitely a one-shot. No, it's not. 
Oh, don't do that. Shit. Okay, I'm stupid. Force of habit, you know. God damn, I waste... Motherfucker, seriously? I wasted way more MP there than I thought I would. Fuck it, we'll use an H spice, why not? Of course, we gotta rescue our boy once again. God, what an idiot. He's not doing the Slav squad, though. I thought that's what he was doing. No, he's kneeling. Yeah, one last time. Sure, sure, sure. Anyways, this is why I wanted to come to this area, because... Not because I wanted to get hit by the dragon, but... Because you can get through this area fairly easily without... Are you fucking... Okay. I call bullshit on that. But okay, okay, fair enough game. I guess I got like, I don't know... Slapped around by the dragon cock or something. Hit me on the head. Anyways, I was gonna say, you can fairly easily get through here and you don't have to fight too many enemies. I, I really wonder. Yeah, it does seem to work. I don't know if it pierces shields or whether it's just that powerful that it just goes through. I think, no, it does pierce shields. Interesting. I thought it only pierced enemies, but... Hey, if it do shields as well... I don't mind that. Like the... pro Demon Souls ranged combat you've ever seen. Hey, another wooden... I do wonder. Hell yeah, you can. It's probably... <laughs> it doesn't look... <laughs> okay. Nice. Cool game. Cool, cool, cool. I had to try that. Uh, I expected that to be really fast. Pretty much like six shootering it. I mean, it's two guns. But no, it, it doesn't work like that. Anyways, I have a prediction these dogs are going to be a nightmare, and... Actually, we don't need to fight them, do we? Not yet. We can rescue Ostrava before. Just you get ambushed here, that's the thing. But man, am I not looking forward to... Okay, fuck. Man, am I not looking forward to fighting the dogs. Listen, the John Wick 2 tunnel scene shootout doesn't hold a candle to me fighting these guys here. I get on my level. Look at them lighting effects. That does look nice though. I'm not even kidding. Ain't even being sarcastic. PS5 graphics for you. What up? Yeah, 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 cool. Give me the Dark Moon, which I didn't even end up using in the last playthrough. But it's here. Here if we need it. And sh should I just resurface and go through the area normally? I mean, we're gonna have to fight the dogs anyways, I think. Maybe I can like snipe them or some shit. being like extra 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 mega careful here because I want to get to right to the edge of their aggro range I see one the scariest enemy in the game hell yeah that's what I wanted blast them pups hell yeah that's what I was that's what I... That's what I wanted. That's the money. Cool. 
That's way easier than doing it melee. What up? So he's probably going to... He does sell Half Moon, but again, it's really expensive. I feel like... I don't know. Yeah, I bought two. Why did I buy two? I don't even know. Two felt like the appropriate number here. It's still only 11, so I'm extremely... Extremely low on healing items, but... At least this area will give us some opportunity to farm, and I think we are going to have to farm for uh, some healing, because normally I just tend to buy them. But now, of course, on this playthrough, we also have to spend resources on H spice and fresh spice and shit. So it's gonna be a little bit more... Probably gonna have to farm a little bit more, which you can sort of get away with not doing in this game. God, that's so good. The fact that you can see like the actual towns and it's like you can actually make out what's there. Primo, primo. Hey, what? Who's? Oh, hello there. This is about to get blasted from the back if I'm not careful. Please tell me I have enough magic. Okay, shit. Don't worry, we got this. I said, don't worry, we got this. Take your bets. Am I gonna... I have one... One more load left, but that's it. I ain't doing too hot on spice either. Now that I'm, lo now that I'm looking at it, I... Thought I was a little bit more loaded up. If I remember correctly, and I never have the exact distance, but I think that was not it. That was not it. I mistakenly remembered the carriage being the cutoff point. Turns out it ain't. Just use one, fuck it. Like, seriously. I probably got the timing wrong. I'm never gonna use Dark Moon Grass anyways, so... We might as well. I think I got it now. As I mentioned in the previous playthrough, you guys know. Final Fantasy Megalixir Syndrome. I think is the official name for it. That was I thought I thought I got the parry. See, it's an interesting spell, because to me it seemed like it went through uh, shit sometimes. By shit I mean shields, but maybe these guys are special. And they are stronger than like normal enemies. So I gotta just like parry them. Luckily, listen, if you haven't noticed, they have the exact same moveset as Black Knights do. So if you have the parry timing down for that, you have the parry timing for these guys. I can afford not to give a shit about Crystal Lizards uh, in this playthrough. Which is nice for a change. Not gonna lie, it is satisfying zapping enemies. Did he just seriously drop a stone? Huh. That's very... that's supposed to be very rare. I'll take it. Free ephemeral eye. Fuck yeah. Anyways, I'm going to pop... Mm, yeah, I'll pop an H-Spice and... 
we have fresh spice equipped so i think we're about as ready as we can be for this fight i'm curious about this one seriously curious on how difficult this is gonna be i don't think it's gonna be because like one of the advantages is you don't have to knock him down like you can attack his head straight away the disadvantage is you gotta waste MP getting rid of these motherfuckers up here, still. So let's just, you know, quickly do that. Oh, okay. I was like, which one of them is shooting me? Think about your healing items, Mr. Sketchhead. You ain't doing too hot. Cool, last one. And now it's time for a Harry Potter battle. Now it's time for a Harry Potter shootout, basically. That didn't hit. That didn't hit, okay. We're gonna have to change position. I really wanted that to be, oh, hello. Okay, there's one more. I mean, he has big-ass magic bolts. And I got big-ass magic bolts, too. I mean, he just moved his stupid shield. That was a bad dodge. See the yeah, there's his weak spot. He does take a lot of damage. Oh, come on. Fucking shield. So you just gotta get the spot right. Oh, fucking come on. I swear there was a more efficient trick to this. That's what we gotta figure out. You do gotta stand up here. Nah, fuck. How did I used to like remember having a really easy time with this boss with magic? Maybe it, it, it is just lock on, I think. That was nice aiming there. Because otherwise, once you get down to it, I mean, he takes a shit ton of damage. Yeah. Fucking hell. I did get killed by this boss in my first playthrough, didn't I? Which was a little bit embarrassing. Uh, you gotta keep it close. Yeah, you just gotta like get the right. That's stupid that you're if you're not locked onto his head, it doesn't count the damage. But whatever. Anyways, he's dead. Yeah. Okay. It was just a lock on thing. Whatever. This guy's a bitch. If you have magic, as I correctly remembered. Nice, let's get back. I think there is something you can make from his soul, but I don't remember what. Of course, I could be completely wrong on that. Uh, this is the one. Warding greatly raises defense. The question of how useful that's going to be. Cloak. Why? Why not, right? I mean, these are cheap. Familiar prank, you know what that is. Enchant weapon is, of course, not going to be useful, but it's there. I'll think about it. I need to check like what you can make uh, with Yuria as well, because she offers different stuff for different souls. 
I don't want to accidentally use something that would be okay that's three levels that would actually turn out to be pretty useful I think that's how we're gonna do it my MP is okay I just want to pump more of my magic up Actually, what am I doing? I can buy fresh spice from this guy. Nine of them. That's gonna be that's gonna be good. Yeah, just just wanted to check. You cannot upgrade your uh, catalyst. I I was just like, I'm 99.9% .9 sure, but let's just make sure. Let's just make it an even 100. Cool. So now we have several options here. I could go back to Bolitaria and just try the farming route or show the farming route which I think I'm gonna do um, but I'm like a hundred hundred percent sure and like 90 percent sure the next destination is going to be mines stone fang I mean we can clear that out fairly quickly See, like these guys always drop late moon or half moon. Plus you can pick up souls as well. I can use soul ray as well. There's the piercing effect. It's very rare that it triggers, like obviously. Piercing spells I always thought were a little bit pointless. Because there's so few instances where enemies are bunched up together. Jay, this might not be the most efficient farming route. Uh, but whatever, you can do this. Just wanted to show it. Yeah, let's go to Stonefang, why not? I mean, I'm gonna be 100% with you. This episode is going to be a little bit shorter because uh, it's late at night on a work day and I have to edit this after as well, so... I don't want to have like a 40 minute video today, but we're going to start Stonefang. None of this is good, so thanks. Oh man, this I love how this area looks. This redesign looks so much better. This level always used to look way too orange and... I don't know, It again, it had that like sunset kind of look, which is cool. But I think this is way sicker. Speaking of, these guys are mad weak to magic, if I remember correctly. Hell yeah, they are. I really thought they would at least be a one-shot, but... Maybe with Flame Toss. Oh, okay, they're resistant to Flame Toss more than Soul Arrow. So this is going to be a bit of an MP burn, because of course this area has a lot of enemies. Interesting that that dropped spider stone. This is a weird thing. We'll fight our first fat official too. That annoys me, that I'm just four points of damage away from being able to one shot them. God. And of course the rules of the challenge means I can't just like whack them on the head with my catalyst. Uh, this is gonna be, again, this is going to be an MP, but maybe it's worth using. I'd have to look up MP costs here, whether it's more efficient to use. Okay, Let, let's just do some quick maths here in a little bit. Just give me a second. No, don't lock on to... Stupid. That's the dog we want. Cool. This is gonna be some science shit. Uh, we have 61 MP. Now we have 56. So that's 5 points. So 10 for... 
uh, two of them. And this one we have, okay, 41. Never mind. Two so two soul arrows it is. That was a wonderful shot. Vsauce here, doing a science experiment. Okay, you're weak to fire. This is gonna be quite the battle of magics. Which I think I'm going to be the winner of. Actually, he, he, he came close. We'll, we'll congratulate him. He wasn't... he didn't do too bad. You certainly do get a lot of useless shit in this level. For us, anyways. Wonder if it's even worth really honestly picking it up. Because, you know, with the no upgrading thing. That reminds me, I still need to. God damn. Why is that so difficult to avoid? No, 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 don't! Ah, shit. I hate that it put automatically puts stuff on your toolbar. Although, I should be able to at least remember it. Whatever, whatever. This is going to... Seriously? Okay. I was gonna be all cool and I was just about to say, look at me make it through the bridge on first try. Shouldn't have even thought about it seriously. So anyways... This is, I was trying to be cool here. Oh yeah. <laughs> cool. Cool. Yeah. Rub that belly. Some people are into that. Anyways, I don't even know why I said that. Third time running back up. And there we go. You do a fireball, I do a fireball. And that's it. Hey, I got his gloves. Cool. And then... Okay, and then let's drop... Interesting, there's a phantom there. As a hint. Because of course I'm offline, so that's not an actual player. I think that they put one there. I guess people were missing this. On like testing, and... They decided to add a little hint. Anyways, I'm gonna leave these hard-working people alone because I do not need their stones. To be fully honest with you. So let's just, you know, keep the peace between us. In terms of the actual episode, I feel like... This is about as good a place as any to wrap up the third episode of... The Magic Only Challenge of Demon Souls. To be honest with you, damage-wise we are okay. I'm liking the spell selection. Obviously MP is the big thing that we still kind of struggle with. So either I'm just gonna pump that shit, or I'm gonna get so many spices that it's not gonna matter. It's pretty much the only way to do it. I'm still wondering about the cap for the spice. Uh, that's going to be an interesting little factor in this whole thing. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. As always, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy, like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications and catch you all of you. And catch all of you next time. Goodbye.